Hi friends, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Very good morning friends. In today's class, in our channel, we are going to discuss heat transfer subject. Okay. So, in our class, we will be learning uh, heat transfer related to your AE exam and AWE exam. Okay. So, if you have not subscribed our channel, do subscribe, like and share our channel. If you need any additional information, post in the comments box, I will give you a reply. Okay. So, I have prepared this material from the previous uh, gate paper. So, definitely today's class will be helpful for your exam preparation. Okay. So, now we will start today's class. Okay. See, it is uh, heat transfer. So, two insulating materials of thermal conductivity K and 2K are available for lagging a pipe carrying a hot fluid if the radial thickness of each material is the same material with lower thermal conductivity should be used for inner layer and one with higher thermal conductivity for the outer okay so friends so if we if we read some content if we read some sentence if we read some paragraph we will come to know what is the exact meaning in this content at the same time if we read and if we write it we will remember forever okay so as if we are going we are uh, dealing with this competitive examination definitely lot of things we have to remember so it's better that you read and write you read and write reading and writing uh, is our best policy to get success in this uh, competitive exam okay okay now we'll move to this next one the practice to use steam on the shell side and cooling water on the tube side in condensers of steam power plant is because to increase overall heat, overall heat transfer coefficient, water side velocity can be increased if water is on the tube side. Okay. So next, see like that you will get some match the following questions. Okay. Next, isobaric thermal expansion coefficient is 1 by T. Isothermal compressibility is 1 by P, isentropic compressibility is 1 by gamma P and joule Thomson coefficient is 0. For a given heat flow and for the same thickness, the temperature drop across the material will be maximum for glass wool. Okay, so you may get some, some 4 other materials from that you have to pick the correct answer. For a current wire, See here you have to one problem we have solved. Okay, so you will get some problems, very small problems. Just you have to remember the formula, put the uh, apply this formula, and you will get the answer. For a current wire of 20 mm diameter exposed to air, H is equal to 20 watts per square meter Kelvin, and maximum heat dissipation occurs when thickness of insulation K is equal to 0 0.5 watt per meter Kelvin. So, we know this is K by H, okay. What we have to calculate here is for a maximum current wire of 20 mm diameter exposed to air, maximum heat dissipation occurs when thickness of insulation. So, heat is K by H, right. So, this is K and this is H, it is 0 0.025 meters. If we convert into mm, this will get uh, 25 mm, okay, like that you have to solve. Next Fourier number is uh, transient heat conduction, Weber number forced convection, Grashof number natural convection, Smith number mass diffusion. Next, next in, radi in radiative heat transfer, a gray surface is one whose emissivity is independent of wavelength. Okay, next one more problem. In a certain heat exchanger, both the fluids have identical mass flow rate specific heat product the hot fluid enters at 76 degrees centigrade and uh, leaves at 47 degrees centigrade and the cold fluid entering at 26 degrees centigrade leaves at 55 degrees centigrade the effectiveness of the heat exchanger is okay so here you can see the question so draw this diagram okay uh, always uh, be perfect with diagrams the diagrams will give it will help us to score more good marks okay so here draw this diagram showing the heat transfer so here in this diagram we can understand hot fluid enters at 76 degree, degree centigrade and leaves at 47 degree centigrade 
so it, it enters 76 degrees centigrade and it leaves at 47 degrees centigrade okay next uh, cold fluid enters at 26 degrees centigrade leaves at 55 degrees centigrade so he, here it enters at uh, 26 degrees centigrade it enters in this and leaves at 55 degrees centigrade now what we have to calculate the effectiveness of the heat exchanger so right here effectiveness of the heat exchanger is heat transferred by maximum possible heat transfer okay so you can write m s 55 minus 26 by m s 76 minus 26 you will get 0 0.5 it is the effectiveness of the heat exchanger okay so problems definitely will get problems for ae as well as aw small problems two marks problem you will get so definitely you have to practice okay so we'll continue steam nozzle is for super saturation and compressible flow is for mac number surface tension is for weber number and heat conduction is for barrett number heat transfer coefficients for free convection in gases forced convection in gases and vapors and for boiling water lie respects respectively in the ranges of 5 to 15 20 to 200 and 3000 to 50000 watt per square meter kelvin a steel ball uh, next one more problem a steel ball of mass 1 kg and specific heat 0 0.4 kilojoules per kg is at a temperature of 60 degree centigrade it is dropped into 1 kg water at 20 degree centigrade the final steady state temperature of water is okay so what we have to calculate uh, the final steady state temperature of water okay so we know solution heat lost by wall is equal to heat gain by water so we are writing or mb into cb into tb minus ts so where uh, mw into cw into ts minus tw so where w is water b is for ball ts is steady state temperature so we know heat lost by ball is equal to heat gain by ball so here we are writing 1 into 0 0.4 into 60 minus ts that is equal to heat gain by water 1 into 4.18 into ts minus 20 as since cw is equal to 4.18 kilojoules per kg so we are writing next we'll get 24 into 0 0.4 ts that is equal to 4.18 ts minus 83.6 so we'll get uh, the final steady state temperature that is 23.49 degrees centigrade that is approximately equal to 23.5 degrees centigrade okay so like that you'll get small problems practice these problems next in a pulverized fuel charge power boiler the heat transfer from the burning fuel to the walls of the furnace is by conduction and convection kinematic viscosity of air at 20 degree centigrade is equal to b 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter square per second its kinematic uh, viscosity at 70 degree centigrade will be vary approximately 2.2 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter square per second next one more problem is that it is proposed to coat a 1 mm diameter wire with enamel paint case 0.1 watt per meter kelvin to increase heat transfer with air if the air side heat transfer coefficient is 100 watt per uh, square meter kelvin the optimum thickness of enamel paint should be critical radius of insulation so this is critical radius of insulation is k by h so this is k and this is h we are getting 0 0.001 that is equal to 1 mm and radius of wire uh, is uh, 0 0.5 mm okay so therefore thickness of coating is 1 minus 0 0.5 will get 0 0.5 mm okay and uh, lumped heat transfer analysis of solid object suddenly exposed to a fluid medium at a different temperature is valid when biot number is less than 0 0.1 okay so that's all friends we'll stop now so i think all of you are uh, up to the mark for your examination okay so if you have not subscribed our channel do subscribe like and share our channel okay so uh, press uh, bell button you will get all the notifications which we are uh, uploading the classes if you need any addi additional information please post in the comments box i will give you a reply okay 
थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग